What's up YouTube? I'm back and today we're going to talk all about website design. Now assuming that you already watched part 1 and part 2 of the series, if you haven't, be sure to check them out. I'll put them in the description box below. But if you have, that probably means that you already have your brand name, your logo, your slogan, you figured out your target market, and now you have products that you designed and are ready to sell. Now in order to do that, you're going to need a website that can handle e-commerce. Now in my personal opinion and my experiences, there are two very good tools that will allow you to do just that. Alright guys, so like I said, I recommend two different options. Uh, the first one being Shopify, and the second is called WooCommerce. They each have their pros and cons. Uh, without a doubt, Shopify is definitely the quicker and easier one to set up and get your site up and running. WooCommerce is going to take a little longer, it's a little bit harder, but like I said, they each have their pros and cons. Um, for Shopify, it includes the hosting, the website hosting with WooCommerce. You're going to have to go out and find your own hosting company and you're going to have to pay monthly for that. Um, Shopify handles all the security and the monthly maintenance for you, whereas WooCommerce, you have to do all that stuff yourself. But with that said, Shopify, you do have to pay a monthly fee for. So they have three different plans. I think the first one starts out at $29 a month and their most expensive one is, I believe, $179 a month, whereas WooCommerce is completely free. So you're going to be paying for the hosting, which when I first started out, I used a company called HostGator, and I think I paid $10 a month at the most for hosting. Um, I don't use them anymore, and if you want to know why, I will explain that in a future video, but it's not a bad place to get started. It's a good, uh, cheap, reliable hosting company. Another thing, a big difference between Shopify and WooCommerce is with Shopify, you do not own your site. Shopify basically owns your site. With WooCommerce, you own every aspect of the site. You have complete ownership. So obviously, like I said before, with complete ownership, that means you're doing all this, handling all the security and the maintenance issues yourself. And Shopify handles all that for you. So based on how much flexibility and how much control you want over your site, that can be a big uh, deciding factor in which one you decide to use, if either. Um, some other points I want to make if you only want an online store and your main goal is to get it up and running as quickly and easily as possible, I'd definitely go with Shopify. But if you want more control over your site, you want more options, and uh, you want more to your website than just the store, and you want um, you want to be able to blog, which Shopify can do as well, but the blogging capability with WooCommerce is without a doubt a lot better. There's a lot more options and there's a lot more you can do with your website. So with WooCommerce you can have a much more complete website and Shopify is more of just an online store with very limited blogging capabilities. Um, another big thing, Shopify is definitely more expensive in the long run. Um, so if you're, look, if you're thinking this is going to be something that you're doing for a long amount of time, I would go with WooCommerce. It's more of an investment. You own, you completely own the site, and it's definitely cheaper in the long run. But if your only goal, like I said, is to get your website up and running as quickly as possible, definitely go with Shopify. And if you don't really want to have to worry about uh, the maintenance and security and a bunch of other stuff, Shopify is definitely the easier one to maintain. So those are my two recommendations. Personally, I use WooCommerce. Um, I'm a big fan of WordPress. I've been using it for five or six years. And that's what I would recommend. That's what I have a lot more um, experience with. But they're both very good options. And like I said, they each have their pros and cons. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. If you guys have any more questions, you want me to expand on anything, like I said in the previous videos, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try and answer every single question that I get asked. And if you want me to um, expand on any of those points or you got any more questions with, uh, that have to do with building a clothing brand or have to do with website design, product design, or something I've talked about in one of my previous videos, please feel free to ask those and I will address them in the next video. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the content, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.